Good day guys, welcome back to Steve Small Engine Saloon. I got a really easy solution here for you if your chainsaw does not oil the chain. Typical scenario here, a customer will bring it in, says this thing actually runs perfectly fine, but I fill the oil tank up, I fill the gas tank up, I go cut wood, I come back in after the, it's out of gas, I fill the gas back up, I check the oil tank, and the oil tank is still right full of oil. I know it's not oiling because it never runs out of oil. On top of that, my bar and chain are burnt. It's dry. Yeah, it's not, uh, it's not oiling. Now, sometimes it is a problem with the chainsaw itself, with the oil system, the oil pump. Just as many times, it's something way simpler and way easier that you can check yourself before you take it into a shop. I'm going to show you that right now. So easy as a matter of fact, this is a one beer job tops. So first of all, what I want you to do, take your bar and chain off. Okay, you got your bar and chain off now. Make sure there's oil in the tank. Uh, make sure that your chain brake's turned off. Make sure that that clutch drum turns around and around like that. Take it outside. Fire it up and see if there's actually oil coming out of the saw itself, like this. If your chainsaw is producing oil with no bar and chain on it, but it's still not lubricating your chain, the only other thing it can be is that your guide bar itself is plugged. Namely, the oil hole in the side of the guide bar right there. That is what your, your oil coming out of the chainsaw squirts into that hole in the side of your guide bar and the chain pulls that around and lubricates the bar and the chain. Many times, many, many times I've seen this come across my bench where the only problem is, is that little hole is plugged with sawdust so the oil cannot come from your chainsaw into the groove itself. Clean your bar. Simple as that. There's little uh, tools out there like this that are made for doing rakers and made for uh, measuring your, your uh, groove itself and also for cleaning your bar. You scrape that out with that. You just run that through there. Some people don't have these. You can use a little putty knife like that right there. Anything that will fit in that groove that you can run it through there and clean that groove. Some people have, I mean, I've even personally used a hacksaw blade. Just not on the hacksaw, just the blade itself. Anything that will fit in there where you can scrape that out. Um, a little screwdriver, a little twist tie wire, anything like that, that you can get that hole clear. Air compressor is nice. If you have an air compressor with an air nozzle on it, you can do that and then blow it all out so it's nice and clean. Once you know that that's clean, maybe you did see that hole was completely plugged. Um, put it all back together now once it's clean. Now, if you are unsure of how to actually put that back on, um, um, I have some other videos on my channel. If you go back to my channel, you can see how to put the chain on so it's uh, the chain's actually turning the right direction. Uh, how to do the tension on the chain properly. If you're unsure of any of that, just go back to my channel and, and look through my videos and uh, see how that works. Put it all back together again. Once you've got the whole thing back together again, you're ready to cut. We just want to check it and make sure that it actually is oiling properly now. Um, I'm going to use a piece of cardboard. I'm going to take this outside and just use a nice, clean, fresh piece of cardboard like this. Uh, you can use, you know, if you cut a piece of wood, you can just use a nice, clean piece of wood to check this also. What we're going to do is just run this, and we're going to see if there's actually oil spray coming off of the tip of your bar. As that chain's going around, it's pulling the, the oil through the guide bar channel and around the chain right off the tip it sprays oil off of there 
if it's oiling properly. So I'm gonna take that outside and show you what that's gonna look like. It's gonna be spraying off the end onto that cardboard. So you just check that, just like that, you, can, you know you got that nice spray of oil coming off the tip of your bar, you know that your chainsaw is oiling properly now. I hope I saved some of you guys some money out there, um, helped you guys. I know I helped somebody out there because as I say, this scenario comes across my bench on such a regular basis where that was the only problem. It was just a plugged guide bar itself. It's really just general maintenance on a chainsaw. Make sure your bar is uh, clean so it lubricates your chain properly. So till the next video, guys, I hope you liked that one. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. And uh, a lot more videos coming up. Looking forward to the next one. Until then, cheers from Canada. Steve out. Damn it. Steve out.